Hey Rob, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. Now, I just want to take this opportunity to run through some some of the most incredible Power BI reports I think you'll you'll ever see. A lot of you know we run our Power BI challenges, and our last challenge, uh, which finished recently, was Challenge 15 on Formula One um, analysis. And so I'm just going to dive into what I feel are some of the best uh, submissions in this particular challenge but honestly they are some of the best um, submissions that I've ever seen around Power BI reports and analysis okay so um, I'm just this we, we currently run these within our forum um, within within our forum you can actually view these um, the the link for um, this particular thread will be left um, around the video and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you just some of these amazing submissions, okay? So this one is from Greg, one of our enterprise DNA experts, and this there's there was a requirement in this particular challenge where you could only use one page. And so t what we found was that um, everyone used tooltips in a lot of cases, and the tooltips that were created were absolutely outstanding. And I I'm not sure if you realize how good tooltips are in a lot of cases. They really... I feel are one of the best additions to Power BI hands down and across all of the features that have been released. And so within this piece of, uh, within this report, if we just click around, you'll see that there's just so many additional insights that you can create when a user, for a user or, for, or a consumer, just by navigating around this, this, this one page of a report. So you can think, uh, about staying high level in your initial report, but then within your tooltips, make them really, really detailed and comprehensive, right? Okay, so there's one tooltip, and I think in most of these visualizations, Greg has actually implemented um, some different um, different tooltips, right? All really, really interesting and really intuitive. And even you know, think about that. This is a this is a dynamic um, this is a dynamic visual visualization, which brings in a different maybe maybe not all of them are available, but um, a different track for every single uh, event that every single circuit on the for, on the Formula One circuit. So maybe because um, of time constraints, Greg didn't do every single one. But just 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 the fact that it's dynamic is just absolutely epic, right? Amazing, amazing. So congratulations, Greg, on, on a great submission. By the way, you can test out all of these yourself. Um, all you got to do is navigate to our forum and um, navigate to the Formula One challenge challenge thread. Okay, so I want to show you a couple of others here that are just unbelievable. Um, so I'll just scroll down here. This one's here is from Jarrett, which is, which is a very good which is a very good one. Um, but I've got two other ones that I want to show you. One of the things that Jarrett uses, which I love, is the chartic charticulator visualization. And so that's how you can actually get these magnificent visualizations, which um, combine, say, like a matrix with an actual chart. And so these are actually demonstrated on our website uh, within our platform, within our education platform. Um, and uh, in our advanced vis visualization course, so check that out. Now, a couple of others here. So here's from, one from Alex. Okay, so Alex is uh, an enterprise DNA expert and literally one of the pro probably one of the best Power BI designers in the world, without a doubt. And let's go in and check out his particular report here. I mean, it's absolutely phenomenal. Just look at the design. Uh, this is all, this also uses that charticulator as well, by the way. So we'll just. Because I think there's quite a bit going on, it takes takes a little bit of time to come come up. But so you'll see here, what what are we? The, the the great thing about this is is the navigation. I love I love how it looks. Like the the, the design is, is is amazing, but the navigation is, is is also fantastic as well. There's so many little things that have gone into this, um, from you know from uh, the way that the background is embedded into into the report. Um, and how um, we've got a, a navigation bar on the side here, where all we gotta do is click on the, the three lines and it brings up this navigation bar with, also within here, with, with additional insights, right? And so um, you can select here, very easily select a year, and that will give you a breakdown of this particular year here, right, very quickly. And then the main visualization here changes to actually show how, um, show how the, race results were per Grand Prix and so we've got the year selection here we can come now come in here and select the actual race and see the positional changes during the actual race so just in, just absolutely incredible right so if there was no change that means that the um, the starting position was was the same as the uh, the ending position the pole position was the same as um, how they finished the race right and then there's also a range of incredible tooltips as well 
um, that that uh, Alex is actually embedded is actually embedded into um, into cards. Uh, there's a little bit of a trick there where you embed where you place a shape above the card, and that enables you to bring up a tooltip. But look at that! Look how incredible that visual, that tooltip actually is. Look at the design. Look at the insight that is created. Right? Just 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 incredible. And another one here, and again, just an absolutely incredible design. Uh, and have we got another one here? Another design here. So Alex decided to really focus on on, on Hamilton here, um, Lewis Hamilton, as he's obviously um, one of the best drivers ever. Um, you, but obviously, you could you could focus in on uh, you know, the other reports, focus in on different things, told a different story, right? But hopefully, you can see that you know just. Hopefully you're inspired by what is actually possible here. I mean, this is just absolutely incredible. And he's also got this switch as well, where you can actually switch the visual um, inside um, inside that one page. And the most amazing thing here, by the way, is that this is all one page. This is all done. This is all on one page within a Power BI. Um, yes, there is other pages in Power BI Desktop, like tooltips, etc., which um, enable you to see those those insights within um, within this one page but all of this is summarized in one page which is to me just absolutely incredible um, and, it, and it just it just goes shows the the creative mind that Alex has but you know to me there's so much inspiration here and that's what that's one of the key things I want to shout out is that you can be inspired by all of the techniques here right you can dive into and, and try and work out exactly how this was done and if you are actually um, have a license to our platform you can actually download we make this model available to you so you can actually download it and actually see um, all the inner workings of how you know things like this navigation bar were created, um, uh, etc. Okay. Now that is amazing, but um, you wouldn't believe it. I think that there is some equally good, other, like other submissions are equally as um, as quality. Here's another great one um, uh, that um, was from one of our, our first time submissions. And so let's let's see if we can quickly dive into this one as well because I really like this as also. And remember, these are all just from one challenge. It just just blows my mind. Like there, there's at least four or five reports here that are some of the the better reports I've ever seen. Um, and we'll be definitely looking to showcase these as much as possible. And we're also considering, just because of how good the submissions were this time round, is actually doing a collaboration court, like a a course collaboration where um, all of these top submissions, everyone. Um, creates uh, a recording around how they actually did it from start to finish and so you can actually see um, the masters at work and, and 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 understand exactly how they how they built these now so this this is maybe a little bit simpler right but still a lot of great features like i love this feature where you can actually click to um, a different um, a different icon here and it looks like it just takes you to, to a different insight but what this is probably doing is it's just taking you know the way that this is structured is it's probably taking you to a different page but it looks like exactly the same page right so I really I really like that um, we've also got a bar here so this is a nice navigation area as well love that so simple and effective right so so the, the design the, the the dark design and the line here um, and the way that that can just easily be clicked in and out, I love that. I mean, that's just just really, really nice. And then all of the different ways you can filter, etc., um, down here. Um, fantastic work on this one. So this one maybe isn't as complex from a visualization point of view, but equally as effective in terms of the insights um, that, that are used. Okay, so there's another great one down here that I want to show you, but from Gustor. Um, all of the submissions are great, by the way. I'm just really highlighting. This is my submission here. I won't go into the, my my submission was was probably you know, when I looked at the other ones it was was it just too simple. Um, I I used a few interesting um, ideas around how I brought things together, particularly around my visualization, how I used sort of different different weightings and 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 different um, uh, different color overlays to sort of suggest the difference in in, in the reports, but maybe not um, as complex as uh, some of these other ones. So I want to show you. I want to show you. I want to show you a cup. One more. One more that that would probably, but I think would be on par with 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 one of the best reports I've ever seen. I think. So I'll just scroll down here. Um, see if I can find it quickly for you. Here's another great one. From David. 
fantastic work. And by the way, um, every submission into our challenges, I actually give personalized feedback to every single one. And so all of these reports I've given feedback to, um, we have a section within our forum called challenge submissions. So definitely uh, look to check that out. I love this one with the timeline visualization. That was a, a, a really quality uh, idea. Uh, this one was very nice as well. Really nice layout. Look at look at the, the sort of like applications that you can build inside of Power BI. I mean, it's just phenomenal. You, you, you really can create just things that look so compelling. This is far superior to any other tool out there. There's just no tool, an analytical tool with the, the, the um, analytical power that Power BI has that also enables you to create amazing looking applications like this, right? Okay, so one more. I want to show you one more. Um, this one here. So this is from Gastor. Um, absolutely incredible report. So let's dive into it. It's just everything is perfect in this. The design, the insights are amazing. Um, the navigation is really high quality. The 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 way you feel like you're in a uh, in a web based application, just just f finding insights that you need really quickly and intuitively. Okay, so. <clears throat> This, in, in reality, this is actually a few pages, but the, the fact that it sort of looks like one, does, one page, again, is, is, is really well done. So you'll see here that we've got some Formula One data. We're looking at um, the, uh, the, the performance of, um, of, of drivers, and we can drill into specific years. So say we wanted to do just, this was a huge data set, by the way. We, we almost covered all Formula One driving um, data and was quite a quite a quite a sizable data set almost it showed almost every lap that every driver did in every single circuit over a period of time so what we can do here is we can then click so we've got this interesting interesting navigation where we click to activate right okay so then it brings up these three different images uh, that enable you then to go into new sort of modules right new modules of analysis based on a key dimension so in this particular example here it's 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 circuits here it's drivers and here it is um it is overall analysis i believe uh, so here's drivers and team and isn't it cool that when you actually um go on this image it actually changes right it's it's just like a just like a web-based application it's like an action when you actually go over the image all amazingly well done okay so then we can actually click into um this particular section and it takes us to the driver section right and then all of the insights we have here are around the driver uh, and the constructor. So I'm gonna click on the driver here. And so we can actually have a look at um, details about the driver wins, I believe. And we can actually look at um, some really interesting data in the tooltips as well. So I think this is, uh, if I had a look at this, let's have a look. This is yeah we can we can this is where we can actually change the um that's right we can actually change the um the details that are actually shown in this thing so to, if you think about some of these some of these navigation aspects i mean they're just so simple right but so effective just the ability to be able to click from one visual to the next just by clicking some text is, is a fantastic addition to the report um, you can also change a few things here around the, the, the dates, um, but also you've got your details here in the table. So the visualizations aren't even that complex, but they really showcase a lot, right? And the fact that there's a, 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 a really um, a effective tooltip on top of that is, 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 is tremendous. Um, so, so many insights. I mean, so many insights. So, you know, I can click back here. I mean, just in that one page, there's so many insights. Then maybe I want to actually look at circuits and then it takes me to this visualization. Beautifully designed visualization. Um, I can change a game between visuals here sh to show something different. And then, and then I can actually look at, um, so let's see if I select something like a circuit down here. I can dive into that particular circuit. I mean, it's just, just incredible. And there's also links, um, links to information. I presume this is probably just like Wikipedia or something like that. Oh, no, this is actually an embedded tooltip. Amazing, right? Just beautifully designed, beautifully designed. Th just think about all the effort that has gone into creating this report from just this, sim just this single tooltip has this dynamic image, which gives you a description of every single circuit. I mean, this should be on the Formula One uh, TV show. <laughs> I think that they would be absolutely amazed at, uh, at, at what this actually showcase, showcases. 
Okay, so I think that's all. This video's um, gone on long enough. I, I, I want to give a shout out to these particular reports as much as I can because they are just incredible and the effort that it goes into these challenges is just just blows my mind and I'm so proud that, um, that the challenges have got to where they're at. Please get involved in as many challenges as you can. There's no better learning experience um, than these. Definitely work through those main threads, but also within our forum, I'll just show you, um, we have the uh, challenge updates. Okay, so this is actually a category by itself in our forum. Anyone can view this. Um, you don't have to have access to actually view this. If you want to participate, you do though. Um, but you can come here and read exactly how, say for example, Gustor created this. He gives a, a full write-up on many of the different things that he did for his report. And this is how you learn. This is how you learn these amazing techniques and get inspired by these te techniques. I mean, we, I don't even think we, we went to this particular report page, but again, another amazing report page there as well. Okay, that's it from me. Um, thanks again for uh, thanks again for all those who got involved in the challenge and for your submissions. Amazing work. Um, anyone can get involved, right? You don't have to, you know, the, the challenges are there to, for, for you to challenge yourself to get better and get inspired by, by what others are doing in the community, right? And so the, the, the more you get involved in, uh, the better you'll become at Power BI. There's no doubt, no doubt in my mind. I've seen it many times before. And, um, and, and you know, I, I absolutely believe that you can do it too. Okay, that's all from me. Take care, everyone. All the best. I uh, look forward to next time. Hey, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.